everyone. Welcome back to Adobe Live. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Cody and I will be your host for the next hour. Here on Power Pumps, it is our goal to empower you to power through your art walk. Every month we create a theme and every week we have a drawing prompt based around that theme. However, uh, Power Prompts is just now coming back from a one and a half month break. So we're kind of doing something a little bit different this month since we only have two weeks left. Um, this this theme is actually going to be taking place of a two-parter for the next two weeks. And today we are actually going to be designing a jungle themed storefront because uh, this month is jungle July. Um, and I am going to have you crowdsource and vote all different kinds of things today for our design. We're gonna go through the uh, total conceptualization and uh, creation of our full illustration. Um, and I'm really looking forward to hanging out with you guys and drawing and just like voting on things. You know, that's always fun. Polls are fun. Um, if you guys would like to make your own jungle theme storefront, you can feel free to do so. If you upload your artwork to Instagram with hashtag Adobe Live Power Prompts, feel free to do so. And at the end of the stream, we are actually going to be going over some of your community entries that have already been created. You guys are so fast. You do it before the stream even happens. Um, so we have a few of those that we're going to look at. Um, uh, but until then, we can hop on over to Adobe Fresco, which is the program that we're going to be working in. And uh, before we start working, of course, I'm going to say hello to everyone because it's been so long since I've been on stream. Hey, everybody. And we're also at an earlier time from now on before we were at, uh, we started at 2.30 PT and now we are starting, uh, was it 2.30? Now I forget. It's been too long. Now we're starting at, yes, now we're starting at 12 PT. <laughs> um, hey, Val. Hey, Becca, Robert, Steve, Wade. Good to see you all. There's so many people in here. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Dr. Who. Hello, Bliss. Oh, good to see you all. Um, all right. So, Val, I know you're our mod today. I'm not going to make you make a ton of um, a ton of polls. If you want to, you can, but we can just go ahead and do a laxadaisy poll uh, voting in the chat if we want to do that. Just like, just going to talk and chat and, and uh, I'm just going to give you guys the first prompt um for voting and that is going to be we're going to vote on what animal would you guys like to see our store keep as you know anything that's jungle related so like a tiger or an alligator or a turtle or a anaconda snake somehow i don't know how we would be a store keep but you know snakes have their ways i guess um, <laughs> uh, any a lion, anything that you guys think would be cute, a sloth might be cute, anything like that. So while I'm waiting for entries, I'll go ahead and also give you guys the next prompt, which is the product that we're going to be selling. What product would you guys like to sell in this store keep, uh, this, this storefront? Would you like to sell fruit ice cream or smoothies or maybe carnivorous plants who knows um but if you guys could make up some really fun and quirky product that would make our store keep even cuter <laughs> first poll should val make polls says wade <laughs> uh cj says a toucan that's a jungle animal right yeah definitely that's a, that's adorable a toucan <laughs> saber tooth koala is that is that a real is that a real animal i don't i feel like that's not a real animal what would a saber tooth koala look like just like <laughs> this big old nose and then he's just got fangs <laughs> like that is that a saber tooth koala <laughs> so we got we got our options we got a toucan I am drawing all of this without reference, you guys. I am so sorry, I apologize in advance. So we have a toucan or uh, uh, we have gorilla and orangutan. I don't, um, let's see, we have uh, gorilla and orangutan. <laughs> a sloth ice cream, sloth ice cream. I forget what a sloth looks like, you guys, I'm sorry. Um, does, is that a sloth? Do sloths have ears? I'm not sure. They're a little, little two-toed sloth here. Smoothies and gummies. Um, tuning in from Canada. Hi, D Ross. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Sabertooth koalas are definitely real. That's how they get you, you know? <laughs> I know, it could have bit me. 
A polar bear. Oh my goodness. A polar bear. So do polar bears live in the jungle? I don't know. I mean, I could be wrong, but I mean, the, are polar bears in like Greenland or are there, are there, are there jungles in, in well, Iceland rather? A drop bear from the Jurassic era? Oh my goodness, I missed, I missed something. Val says I'm more than willing to make polls. If you would like to make polls, feel free. Um, but we could also just, um, I mean, maybe we're just gonna like write things down and we'll just kind of narrow it down from there. A polar bear. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Always with the bear puns here, isn't it? Bend the rules and do a polar bear. Okay, I'll, I'll, put, I'll put a polar bear. Maybe he's a traveling salesman. Maybe his store is on a, 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 a truck. Maybe his store is on a truck or like a van or something. It's like one of those little traveling stores. And maybe our polar bear is just looking for new customers in the jungle, you know? Like maybe that's, maybe that's, maybe that makes sense, you know? Polar bear on a mission. <laughs> the puns are unbearable indeed. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's see. Let me let me let me uh, think about some products. Then uh, let's see. He sells ice because the jungle is hot, so that so the product could be ice. Or what Arctic jungles coming soon? Says Wade. Um, what uh, what else do we have? We had uh, smoothies and ice cream. What if they were like bear shaped ice cream pops? Like this, like something that you would get in like <laughs> an ice cream truck. <laughs> uh, snow cones, snow cones is fun. Snow cones. <laughs> a vegan vampire bat. <laughs> Isn't that just a fruit bat? <laughs> <laughs> a fruit bat he's just he's just really small i don't know exactly what a fruit bat looks like i'm sure it doesn't look like this <laughs> bear shaped ice cream sandwiches oh now we we're just make we're just creating a whole a whole menu of items here for maybe our our store keep. Uh, of course, everything is bear shaped, so I don't know. I don't know if another animal would want to sell only bear shaped items, but uh, maybe the vampire bat just has just loves bears, and he just he just has to sell his ice cream in bear shape. <laughs> and also on top of that, you guys, um, once we come up with our our store theme we also have to come up with a name too so if you have a favorite um like idea for our product so far and you can come up with a witty or punny name like that would be fantastic too so we can start putting out ideas for brainstorming the name of our shop <laughs> um Let's see here. So we could also, so so we have also have ideas of, um, let's see, like, oh my gosh, my hand is shaking so much. I have to put on some smoothing here, you guys. My, my lines are like all over the place. Okay. So we have ideas of our little, our little truck, you know, like maybe there's like, like little um, shutters and like the menu is on the shutters and it's like, oh, it's cute and stuff, you know? Like here's all of his products. And he's like, here, I'm here in this little truck. Beep beep. Or we could have like a like a tree house store or something. Like, oh, here's up in the treetops of this jungle. And there's like a little tree house store or something, maybe. Something like that. Or we could have like maybe just like one of those like kind of like typical um 
like little marketplace stalls that you see sometimes like oh maybe there's like a little palm tree over here or something there's like and like uh, little plants and here's his little stall and he's got he's got like his ice cream or something There, he's he's so happy. Look at him. Woo! Marketplace stall. Liz votes marketplace stall. Gotcha. Okay, so definitely one for marketplace stall. And um, this truck better have a horn that goes a wooga. Definitely, definitely a wooga. That's the shape for the wooga sound, apparently. Okay. Does it play the entertainer as it drives around? It should. He, and he wears Hawaiian shirts. Okay, so so now we're getting into the real nitty gritty details, right? So so what are we thinking? Like, okay, so marketplace stall, the, our, our storekeep wears Hawaiian shirts. Good, good idea, love it. Hawaiian shirts. That's a, that's a Hawaiian shirt right there. And maybe he sells, let's say, he said polar opposites. <laughs> I just saw Ryan's suggestion. Oh, I love it. That's fantastic. Polar opposites. <laughs> um, jungle joint. You need to be over 18 to enter and purchase. Hawaiian skirts, shirts, and hula skirts. <laughs> Bungle in the jungle. Polar bears, polar treats. Oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> Love the animal suggestions. I know, me too. Animal shaped like animals he'd eat if he weren't vegan. <laughs> okay, one second. Oh no, I lost my, my screen. One second, you guys. There we go, okay. Okay. So I am going to, let's say, uh, polar opposites. Sorry for my terrible handwriting. I'm writing really fast. Polar opposites and um, what was it? Jungle joint. Polar bears, polar treats, <laughs> hey Dennis, I just saw you in chat, I'm kind of like scrolling up, sorry guys, um, human shaped ice cream sandwiches, hmm, <laughs> hmm, Okay, okay. I think we're going in this direction, you guys. So I think since we have the majority of our options that we're given kind of polar-esque, I think we're gonna go with that. And I think we're gonna go with polar bear in the market stall with Hawaiian shirts, obviously. Um, and I suppose we will, we, <laughs> um, we will do Polar Pops is another cute name. Polar Pops. We could just do an assortment of pops and ice creams. How about that? Sound good? Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna save all this, but I'm gonna make a new layer and I am going to just Squidge this down a little bit so we just have this in the corner here while we're designing. And also, don't forget to save your work, everyone. I know Fresco has um, uh, automatic cloud saving, but for me, I personally just prefer to uh, do a hard save every once in a while. So if you go up to the top here and you uh, click the little drop down menu, you can just save now and it will do a hard save of your artwork. Don't forget to save if you're working on anything right now. 
<laughs> Lowry, hi, welcome to the stream. I work from home and I use this live so I don't feel alone while working. I'm an artist as well, love these illustrations. Thank you so much. Okay, so we can go ahead and maybe just like start kind of designing our little market stall. Um, I'm thinking like, should we do it if it's if it's polar themed, should we make the market stall kind of themed jungle themed because like going more in the direction of our original prompt or since it's polar themed, should we do it more like ice themed, like ice cream, icy themed? It just, and, but that stall just happens to be in the jungle. So the environment around it would be jungly, but the stall itself would be like ice themed. I'll leave that up to you, jungle or ice themed. And I will go ahead and just kind of like start with like the bare bones of what that might look like, kind of like our little thumbnail sketch that we did down here really quick. Um, and I will just kind of, let's see, I'll just, oops. My, oh, there we go. I was just really zoomed in, okay. So the pencil that I'm using, if you guys are wondering, um, it's by Kyle T. Webster. It, you can be found in his mega pack. Um, and it is called Happy HB. If you would like to know how to download Kyle's brushes, all you have to do is open the brush menu and then go down to the plus add, add brushes at the bottom and then discover new brushes and it will bring up all of Kyle Webster's packs on Fresco and you can just add any of the ones that you like. Bare bones, oh no. <laughs> I didn't even realize I said that will not be sharing we will not be selling bare bones we won't i promise uh, uh becca said when i saw storefront in the title i was picturing a mobile game storefront interface now i get it yeah that's funny i didn't even think about that when i was coming up with the title <laughs> no we're actually creating a literal storefront an illustration of a store <laughs> okay so I'm gonna, I'm kind of just gonna give it a little bit of like character, kind of like curve these lines out a little bit, I think. And we will have, let's see, actually a, a, a market stall, the, these little, these little um, poles here would hold up maybe like an awning or something like that. So we'll do a little like classic scalloped awning. It's like hanging front view. Maybe we have like a little crossbar of some kind. And then we have, we would have the little table here. And then maybe uh, like for a marketplace, a lot of the time it will have like um, like little, almost like stadium seating, um, but like to show off the products like stair steps. Jungle themed, but it's cold. We could do, we could do a jungle theme, but it has like cool tones, cool tones when we go to color it, that could be interesting. Like we do, instead of using warm tone greens, we could use more of like cool tone teals or blues to shade in the greens and kind of give it a, a colder feeling for the atmosphere. Plants have ice on them. Oh, that's, it's like uh, the Donkey Kong game that, game that has uh, the ice all over it, something like that. <laughs> Anyone know what I'm talking about? Okay, maybe we'll make, let's see, we can kind of like do little planks of wood or something maybe. And maybe we have some, like I did in our little thumbnail before, maybe we have some like little plants over here and some like, maybe some like little pots. We could do some tropical plants.
just very simple shapes too when I'm doing these trees. If you guys can see, basically that, that palm frond that I did is, is essentially just a curved line and then a bunch of rounded triangles. Very simple shapes to kind of just give the idea of what we're, uh, what we're going for. And your brain just kind of like fills in the gaps when you're kind of just like making those simple shapes, especially in the context of it's in a pot um, and it has a trunk, your, your brain just automatically knows that it's a palm tree. Like you don't need to add in all of those extra details. <laughs> uh, Ryan says it could be an evening market in the jungle. So it's cooled off from the hot day. The bear only trades in cooler hours. The bear only trades with nocturnal animals. <laughs> Well, maybe we'll add like a coconut uh, <laughs> and let's let's add let's add a palm frond that's like coming over onto the market stall just to kind of give a little bit of dimension on that overlap there like a little oasis yeah exactly it does it's just kind of feel a little oasisy. It's like an ice cream dealer in an oasis. Everybody wants that. And then we have our, I'm gonna do this on a separate layer. We have our little purve purveyor. Um, I'm actually going to make the scallops on this just a little bit smaller so we have a little bit more space to add in our, our friend in there. So we have our little, our little polar bear. in a Hawaiian shirt. Maybe he's just waving at you guys. He's waving at chat. He loves chat. He wants to sell ice cream to you guys. There, something like that. I also think maybe the bear could wear sunglasses. I think it would look nice with a Hawaiian shirt. So let me do that on a separate layer. So sunglasses either just totally over his eyes like this, like he's a cool guy or, <laughs> or sunglasses, oops, sunglasses on his head like this, where he's like, oh yeah, I'm also a cool guy. Like that. <laughs> um, okay, let's let's see. Should we do like <clears throat> what kind of what kind of Hawaiian print should we have? <laughs> um, we could do. Should we do? We could do maybe like little pineapples or something. These are very important details, you guys. <laughs> this, these things matter. This is a non-alcoholic stand. It is indeed non-alcoholic. So he wears sunglasses at night. That means he's a real cool guy. There we go. Perfect. Pineapples are perfect as well. Fantastic. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's also, so you think about the logistics. 
the logistics of having ice cream in the jungle is probably not going to be easy. So we need some kind of way for him to transport or, or just store extra ice cream because it's going to melt. Otherwise we need like some kind of like, um, like a, like an ice chest or something like, uh, maybe he's got, um, <laughs> he's got just like a little cooler or something. We need, we need ice cream cooler. Ice, very important. Um, and actually, since since he's going to, oh my goodness, these logistics are so difficult. It's so hard being a business owner, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> we are masters of this realm. We can have jungle ice cream. Oh my goodness. The chaos. Let's have, you know what? Let's do it like this. Let's have, let's have him have like little, uh, whoops. <laughs> let's have him have little like ice, ice holders for his little ice cream sandwiches. Let's do that. Generator and a huge fridge. <laughs> and also I want, since, since he's going to be a, a purveyor of ice cream at night to nocturnal animals, um, nocturnal animals may have sight, uh, night vision, but he does not. So maybe we'll give him a little lantern. Give him a little lantern here. A little flamey boy lantern. Perfect. And we're also gonna, you know, give a little texture to the ground here. Maybe he's got like a little bit of a cobblestone coming up, something like that. And also some more plants in the background, maybe. And we can do maybe like some little stars in the sky because it's nighttime. Wow, that is not a star. That is that is definitely not a star. Let's try that again. <laughs> Cute. And let's uh, let's draw in also his his little ice cream sandwiches and such. So let's do like a layer of there's like ice, like just like blocky ice in there, something like that. And then we're gonna do. Let's see what layer is it. I'm losing my layers already, guys. Okay. Okay. And then, and then on a separate layer above that, we will draw in his little, his little ice cream sandwiches, his little bear, his, his little bear witches. And then his little, his little bear pops. And we will just go back and erase a little bit here and there behind the bear pops. <laughs> it's 
So cute, Nicole. Thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's give the little bear pops little faces. It reminds me of like how when you would get a character ice cream from a um, ice cream truck, they just like never actually look like the character and the faces are all messed up all the time. Like it's just like when eyes down here and eyes up here and it's just like super wonky, <laughs> something like that, you know, or, or maybe this one's just upside down. It's just, <laughs> now it just looks like, like a seal or something. <laughs> Val says next product, uh, uh, next project concept, bear witches. That would be adorable. Okay. <laughs> Um, what else? Oh, we need to add, of course, we need to add our store title. We need to add our store sign, if you will. Um, so let's see, where should we add it in? Hmm. We could add it. Let's do like, of course, we can always get rid of these stars here. We could add like a big old neon sign <laughs> or something like that, like above there. Or we could just like put a little like wooden sign like coming out the side or something. Or we could forego our little lantern here for maybe like a hanging sign. Like maybe this like extends out more and we have like a little hanging sign here. We could make more room by getting rid of this plant down here. What do you guys think? Uh, a big top sign, a hanging sign, or a side sign, or we could put, of course, we could put like a little sign up here on the front. Although right here, maybe on the front could be like where our menu is. Maybe that's where the menu is. And um, like all of the little creatures could come up and see what ice cream pops they want. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay. So let's see, I'm kind of thinking, um, Nicole says neon sign, yes, since it can light up uh, more at night. <gasps> That's so true, good, good idea, yeah. I like the side hanging sign. We could do any of the signs as like a neon sign. So like, it, that's a good idea. Love the idea that the, the sign could be lit up. So maybe any of the signs could be lit up. So if you guys prefer maybe like a neon sign, like to be in a different spot, you could totally pick that too. Um, Ryan, uh, Ryan says, loving this. It gives me nighttime market on holiday vibes. Oh, that's so adorable. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lowry says, this reminds me of Lilo and Stitch, the guy with the ice cream on the beach. <laughs> Classic, classic. <laughs> Train fireflies to light up on the neon sign. Oh, that's adorable. I, I just love it. This is part of the conceptualization about streaming that I really love is that everyone like gets really into it and they just start creating these backstories to your illustrations. And it's just so fun to think like deeper and deeper into it. It's like a big think tank. It's so fun. Um, but we could, speaking of which, um, we could add in like maybe like little fireflies or something around. Of course, it will make more sense once they're colored. Uh, it doesn't really look like a firefly when it's um, in pencil, uh, but we could certainly add little fireflies and that would be really cute. Um, I think, I think I personally prefer, um, I personally prefer the the sign on the top, I think, in terms of, um, well, for one, in terms of marketing, I think that it makes sense to have your sign just like right there in the middle. Whereas like, um, if you have it like on the side, like, like not smack dab in the center in terms of this, uh, just like this design overall, it kind of like, isn't in your face enough, I feel. I love the idea of a hanging sign though, because I, I add hanging, hanging signs on my businesses and my artwork a lot because I think the idea is really cute. But I think just specifically for this instance, I think that a sign over top overhead makes the most sense 
for this concept. Maybe the bear is irradiated and he glows in the dark. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's true. I mean, he could just like, I mean, he could just like be glowing and that's, and that's why he needs to wear sunglasses because he just like, he's too bright for his own vision. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan said, I'm glad, I'm so glad marketing is behind the decision making to the illustration. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, all of this, you know, it has to be, has to be believable to real life. Even if it's a children's illustration, it still has to be believable to a certain extent, right? <laughs> okay, so let's see. I Now I don't remember. Oh, good. Okay, I drew all of that on one layer. So I'm just going to go back and erase this. It's fantastic. <laughs> I'm going to, let's see. Okay. Wasting stream time. I'm sorry, you guys. Also, by the way, if you are over on the YouTube chat, I know I haven't mentioned this yet. If you're over on the YouTube chat, come on over to Behance because that's where our main stream is. And that's where I'm having all of this wonderful conversation and discourse with the viewers over here. And that is where we are deciding on all of these um, uh, design decisions for this illustration. Um, and also next Monday, we will be coming back to this illustration. After the stream's over, I will clean up this sketch and next week we will go through the coloring process and, and figuring out like the environment, the, um, the atmosphere, the color palette and all of that. And we will be able to uh, add in glowing effects too, since this is gonna be a nighttime scene. I love adding in glowing effects. That'll be really fun. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and also just obviously get rid of um, these stars and things here. And I'm also going to get rid of this, but I did that on a separate layer. So I'm just going to go like that. And I'm also going to move this firefly down a bit. Since now there's this um, kind of like empty space right here, I'm just going to go ahead and fill that up with this little firefly friend. <laughs> Ryan says, Cody is a secret animal whisperer and will sell this pitch idea to a polar bear when the stream is done. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me, okay? <laughs> All right. So remind me, okay, let's go back down here. We had uh, for ideas for the name. So we had polar opposites, jungle joint, uh, polar bears, polar treats, and polar pops. Do you guys have any other ideas before we decide to vote on those ones? I think we will actually do a real poll this time, Val, for the name, just so um, it's a little bit easier because since we did the voting a while ago, um, so we'll be able to really see what people want, to, want the, uh, the store to be named. Um, but if you guys have any other ideas, quickly throw them into chat before we decide to do the poll. So polar opposites, if you guys can think of like maybe any, any like more bear or ice ponds or ice cream, bear, 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 bear witches, bear witch sandwiches, polar express. <laughs> um, Ryan says, uh, at least I can claim to fame. I saw the concept come to life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, Val is on it. We're going to be making the um, poll here in just a second. Hopefully Val, you got all of these names. I guess you can uh, you can rewind on the stream if you haven't caught them yet. But for now, I am going to just kind of like create the frame for, um, for this sign here. Um, let's see. So we don't know exactly what shape it's going to be because we can kind of like figure out the topography, which I'm I'm not an expert at topography. I'm not an expert at hand lettering and word art, but we can kind of maybe finesse it a little bit as we go. Um, bare minimum. <laughs> He's got the bare minimum of menu items. He really does. 
Um, let's see. I also wanted to go back and erase this little bit here so we can kind of add some more details um, for the menu. Just kind of clean this up a little bit. Maybe, maybe this menu board is like, like nailed into place and kind of give some little, little rustic details like that. And we have like men, men, menu squiggly lines and then we can just have like some words or indistinguishable words there to do the menu is the bare minimum one bear or zero bears that's a very good question um i think you would have to have one bear for the bear to create the bare minimum that's that's my opinion Um, let's see. Okay. Oh, and also I just noticed that I think we would probably from this perspective be able to see a little bit more of this, this stall here. So I'm going to just push this out like this a little bit like that. So now you can see the edge a little bit better. And I think I'm also going to thicken up these poles here. I'm feeling like I might make them like little bamboo poles, maybe something like that. CJ says, I have the perfect name, Bear Necessities. Ice cream is a necessity. I will definitely agree with that. <laughs> okay. So then we have we have our little bamboo bamboo style poles here. And we can also clean up this edge a little bit. looking cute guys i'm liking it you guys have really good taste really good taste in ice cream here's the poll okay you guys go vote on val's poll in the chat if you would like to um decide to be, be help in deciding our name for our store um also if you're in the youtube chat um the poll is either on behance or maybe val will drop it in the youtube chat as well if you guys are over there um but we are on our way. So let's go ahead and um, actually, now that I have the, these little details here, um, let's see. Oh, right. I was going to start creating the little frame for the, the um, sign. So I'm going to do this on a separate layer. I'm going to do my best to try to center it without having any tangents. Um, okay. So I'm, I'm thinking that, you know, how kind of like when, um, like, like when you have a lettering, like, like almost like a die cut sticker where like lettering just like goes around the shape of the sticker rather than like a big, uh, rectangle. It's kind of like what I was envisioning maybe. Um, of course it would depend on what text we have but maybe like if the sign was like shaped to the text that might be cute kind of like something like that or we could do 
Um, or we could do just, whoops, a rectangle um, like that. I don't know, I guess we'll see. It looks like, oh, Polar Pops and Bear Necessities are neck and neck tied so far. Um, uh, also, also, we have another three-way tie with Jungle Joint, Polar Bear, Polar Treats, and Bear Minimum. So uh, we need like one more person to vote and then we will go ahead. Okay, now Polar Pops and Bear Necessities are tied again, you guys. We need, so <laughs> we need somebody else to vote. <laughs> Okay, Bear Necessities is 40% of the vote, so I am just going to go ahead and go with that one. <laughs> okay, okay, so let's see. So Necessities is a pretty long word compared to Bear. So what I think we might do, I'm thinking about kind of like the topography of it. Oh. You guys also, I don't want to run out of time. Oh my goodness. We might have to just uh, stop relatively soon. Um, I don't want to run out of time. Maybe at like the, maybe like five more minutes. And I just want to go quickly over the, um, the community entries at the end. But before we do that, one second, I am going to just write, oops, ah, new layer. I'm going to write out bear. I don't know how to spell necessities. Oh my goodness. How do I? Okay. Necessities. Bare necessities. <laughs> N-E-C-I-C-E-E-T-I-E-S. And then maybe he's got like a little, just like a little ice cream sandwich bear as his logo. We need, we need like Ju uh, Julia Masalska up in here to like design a, <laughs> design a, a brand identity for bare necessities. We definitely need to create, make a, like a, an ongoing Adobe live uh, co collaboration uh, with this. I think that uh, we need, we definitely need some, some brand designers up in here. Where's Andrew Hockrottle when you, when you need him, right? It looks like a really sad PB and J. <laughs> Did I hear a cat? No, I do not have a cat. Hi, Jan. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. How are you doing? Um, okay. You guys, so I am going to go ahead and head on over to Instagram so we can start looking at our wonderful community entries. We have a few of them. Um, and I loved all of the differentiation between all of them. Like they're so unique. Like this one um, was so adorable. Oh my goodness. I thought that this I loved that they chose an anteater, which is an, an animal that didn't even cross my mind, but it is so adorable. Look at the little tip jar and he's got like the little, the little fast food trays, you know, like <laughs> it's got um, like the little typical oh, red and white plaid. And then at the back of his little, um, his little trailer here, he's got a, an ant farm. Clearly that's where he's, you know, sourcing his locally grown ants for um, this, this wonderful little, um, this wonderful little store. Ants on the go, regular ants, salted ants, candied ants, pickled ants, and coffee. <laughs> so cute so cute love it thank you so much fabulous uh, fabulous kitty they've done so many entries for uh, power pumps and draw this in your style i love your work and the little cactuses too so adorable hey katrina welcome how are you doing good to see you and then this one is an energy drink store but get this the store keep is a sloth <laughs> Oh, I love it. It's so endearing and adorable. And also the patrons are turtles. <laughs> so all the slow animals need energy drinks. That's so cute. <laughs> and I love the traditional work. You don't really see traditional work very often, but 
This is so wonderful. I think it looks like like maybe colored pencil and watercolor. Maybe maybe they're watercolor pencils. Um, Art with Simona, thank you so much for your entry. It's so cute. So cute. Can't wait to see more of your work. Oh, and also there's snails in there too. I just noticed that. Oh, and there's uh, there's her watercolor palettes. She's got like metallic watercolors. So wonderful. Very cool, very cool. And then also uh, we have Crispy Art Boy. He's done a lot of entries for Power Prompts as well. Um, this is beautiful. I think, I believe Crispy is a concept artist. He whips these illustrations up like instantly. He's so fast. Um, but the environment with this is so beautiful. And he's got almost like a prehistoric um, uh, like energy about this, um, like in, in the shape of this storefront is actually, if you look closely, it's, it's the mouth of a monster and it says little monsters juice bar. Um, oh my goodness. So adorable. All the patrons are different styles of monsters and there's like little cars uh, on the left side and like little, like, like a little space egg type car. Um, and just like the depth of the color palette and the trees and everything and the atmosphere is just so beautiful. Um, uh, Katrina says, doing great, love this prompt. Thank you so much. Okay, you guys, I am going to head back over to um, Fresco just for a little bit longer. We have a few more minutes. I just wanted to make sure that I showed you guys those wonderful prompts before we have to sign off. So I'm just gonna color for a little bit more and then we will sign off. <laughs> Ryan says, I thought it was a giant roast chicken. Oh, the, the, the monster store. <laughs> okay. So we have to come up with a way to, um, make this bare necessities sign look better. Um, I'm not very good at, like I said, I'm not very good at type. Um, but let's see. I wonder, I wonder, you know what, maybe it would look better if we put the little ice cream sandwich on the top and kind of made maybe like a little arch there. Like something like this. Let's make it a little smaller. And I should also center this a little bit. Uh, CJ says you could curve the niceties into a U and put the bear pop in the middle. Oh, that could work. I was thinking I would, this is kind of, it's kind of like the same vein of, uh, of ideas here. I was thinking maybe we could do it something like this, like with a, like with an arch sign like that, maybe something. The poll has jungle joint as the winner. Oh. Well, you guys need to vote faster. That's really what it is. If the bear pop is on top, the kind the sign could be triangle shaped. Oh, we could do we could do a triangle shape too. Instead of this, we could do um, something like like maybe just like a rounded triangle or something. <laughs> That's cute. Or maybe. But actually, that's kind of cute because it looks like a mountain. Maybe it's like a, a snowy mountain peak. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> um, and then it's got like just like the little legs sticking out there. Um, <laughs> something like that, I guess make it a little bit smaller so we don't have um tangents <laughs> um let's move uh the bear wording up a little bit something like that <laughs> it's so silly i love it okay I think, I think we're good, you guys. It is about time to sign off. Thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it. And also don't forget to stick around for Paul Tranny's brand new show. Um, oh my gosh, I totally just forgot what, it, 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 it's, it's gone through multiple name changes, you guys. I totally just forgot what it's called, you guys. I am, I am so sorry. 
But don't forget to stick around for Paul Tranny's new show up next. A design to the rescue, says my producer. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, and also after that, we have the premier DCC with uh, John Bonanno after that. And um, I will see you guys next Monday. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys later. Stick around. Mm -hmm.